Nobody who's like, ooh, I wanna go to the DMV. Like, no. and I didn't even show you it's in my stomach now so I literally can't show you but um I'm still hungry so we're gonna try this salmon flakes rice ball so this is what it looks like you take this thing and then you pull it in the middle look at this little booty cheek and then take this and then you okay I messed it up but it's okay I'm gonna take a bite I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite There's a lot of, um, the rice is very thick. I am making a mess. My camera's about to die, so it was made. That's all I have to say. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. Um, I just came back from this like school event. It's like back to school carnival. It was fun. We had like tie dye shirts. It was a raffle. So you had to like get people signatures, like somebody who doesn't own a dog or somebody who loves to swim in the ocean, an assistant principal or a IT person. Like you just had to collect all these signatures. So I actually ended up winning one of the raffle tickets and uh, you could choose between a speaker or some movie tickets. So I chose movie tickets cause it's like, let's be for real. I'm not gonna be blasting music. But yeah, they had all these little activities, all these club sign-ups. I signed up for cheerleading. I used to cheerlead in elementary school and I really enjoy it. Like the tumbling, flipping, round-offs, pyramids, being a spotter, the routines, the chants. I loved it. So I want to do it again. Hopefully they do it seriously this year because they don't take things, something seriously. Like when it's like a club instead of an actual, you know what I mean? Like I can't explain it. And they also had pizza for us and Capri Suns and Doritos. And I got to talk to some new teachers, meet some new teachers. Got to see some old old faces. Everybody was like, hey, what's up? Da, da, da. It's cool being a senior because it's like, you know everybody. You chill with everybody. It's like a chill environment. You're not nervous. You don't really care. It's like, it's everything's cool. So it's like, I like this year, y'all. This year gonna be laid back. I'm not trying to stress out like I was last year. I just, I'm almost done with my UC um, apps. Because you know, for UCs, all you have to do is fill out, like, since they're all UCs, you only fill out one like thing if you know what I mean so I'm almost done with that I just need some clarifying information but this year is gonna be cool y'all like I'm excited I'm ready to get this year over with have fun I'm ready to leave I don't care I don't know where I'm gonna go but I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna be <laughs> exploring like I'm so ready y'all like I'm so ready to go like and what's cool is that I could bring y'all with me if you know what I mean like y'all get to see in here my experiences and whole journey is gonna be dope y'all and it's gonna be cool but yeah i'm excited and i'm ready school starts on monday august 14th so i have one it's august 9th i have one assignment left to do i've literally procrastinated on this assignment because i had to read a book and then write the report on it so i think it's like two 300 pages and i'm on page like 200 something so i'm almost done with the book i just need to write the report and how it connects to this and this and this and i'm done just gotta get my backpack ready my clothes ready it's so funny y'all because it's like now that i have more clothes i don't know what to wear like i'm literally i'm gonna go to my mom and be like can you pick something out for me because it's like it's too many good options i'm like i just don't know what to do yeah i need to finish my last assignment um get my hair done i gotta clean up y'all i'm ready for swim this year i'm excited for that to come back maybe i'll join another sport before swim starts so i can like be in shape if that because last year before swim came back i started doing cross country and i got y'all i got these things called shin splints i was done like i was done with cross country like that's the one of the worst pains i ever felt in my life that's pretty much everything i need to do right now i'm gonna play video games <laughs> After I just told y'all all the stuff I need to get done. I just got back from an event so I can like, I can play video games for a little bit. And then 
already edited a video so all i gotta do is set schedule that to um to go public late next wednesday or next saturday i don't know all right y'all that's all i had to say for now um i'll see y'all when i see y'all hey y'all so not too long ago i finished my driver's ed so like as soon as i finished it they sent me an email and everything saying your certificate is about to be shipped to you and then once it gets to your house it, you, you'll know it's yours because it's gonna be a blank envelope with just your name and then once you get the certificate you can go ahead go book your dmv uh written test appointment immediately because this is like this is literally all i need this my soul my identification my proof of residence like you know all the like identifying stuff but y'all it just came in the mail so we got to open it i'm so excited y'all like y'all know how long i've been wanting to drive like i don't know since i was like maybe younger than 14 i always said oh when i turn 16 i'm gonna do this and that and this and that it was like this whole thing going on y'all i had to switch driver ed courses it was just it was a lot so finally finished my driver's ed i got my certificate we about to look at it and then i'm gonna go try to book the dmv appointment or see see what days are available talk to my parent catch up on the handbook so I can like be extra prepared because I already took this but it wouldn't help to look at the actual stuff that's gonna be on the test right so check that out but I'm so ready I'm if I pass my test and get my permit six months from now which will be my second semester I should be able to get my provisional license which means I can drive alone I just have to have proof that it's necessary like I think I'm good because like I can prove that it's a struggle for like my parents and family to get me to and from places because like my brother has work my mom has work my dad drives trucks and is on the road and it's just really inconvenient for them to have to like make all these extra plans for me to get a ride from point a to point b this really helps everybody i'm really happy y'all like this is one thing i've really been looking forward to and it's just so crazy that it's right here in my hands <sighs> I had to call my dad and tell him. Yeah, six months from now. So around summer after December. Yeah. <gasps> Y'all know how long it's been. Oh my gosh. It don't even take that long to finish. I just had a complicated price process the enclosed pink paper is your certificate of completion the certificate is not your permit to get your permit you must go to the dmv and pass the permit knowledge test keep this certificate in a safe place until you go to the dmv there's a ten dollar fee for replacement i don't have an id i have a school id but i don't have an id id so i might need to go i'm going go online and see what i need to do so when i get there i'm gonna have to fill out or bring a completed dl44 application pay the dmv application fee pass a vision test and then pass the permit knowledge test and I have three chances within a year now let me look at the actual permit I certify and declare Queen's Zaire is approved da 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 oh, y'all this is so crazy y'all have no idea how long I've been looking forward to this like I think I had a vlog from way back when I'll try to find it and put the clip in of me saying I'm gonna drive like I'm going to drive I think I can show y'all. I don't got no like information that y'all don't need to see. It's, it's pretty public. Y'all see that? Non-classroom driver education certificate of completion. Queen Zaire Hadley, y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all see my name right there? This really made me feel good too because today I was just, I don't know, I was in a mood today. I'm just not, not up right now. I'm gonna call my father and show him my certificate. I wonder how long it takes to schedule an appointment because I know the DMV be booked. There be too many people there. Like, I hate going there. It's just nobody who's like oh i want to go to the dmv like no no i want to take my test and get it over with and get my permit so you start studying well i've been studying but studying more go try to schedule this thing and call my dad huh ja am i gonna get one not from you no Oh my god. Huh? Oh my god. Please just drive. expected to uphold 
an image of, of obedience and modesty. preconceived notions about me you assume that just because i'm black my hair would be 444c but you believe it's only 4c you being you're judging a book by its cover and i do not accept that i'm just kidding um what else did i talk about oh how old are you oh my gosh you're 48 you're 49 oh! that's crazy I can't imagine being 49. That must be wild for you. <laughs> How does it feel to be 49? I bet you feel ecstatic. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? What you say? <laughs> no. Yeah, you just you just don't look 50 at all. I remember I was going I hung out with some people one time and they saw my grandparents and they was like they were surprised my grandparents were so young and I was like uh, yeah yeah they're not they can still move around and jump and kick and stuff okay y'all so I'm gonna bring back the lit queen energy because this senior year y'all is about to be amazing okay it's about to be it's my year so we're the seniors so we gotta make it what we want it to be right like be the change you want to see okay let me stop but i'm gonna bring it back y'all i'm gonna be like what's up y'all it's your girl queen and today blah 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 i just want to give y'all a warning right now it's about to be lit so y'all good morning well good afternoon it's 1 12 p.m sunday august 13th so school starts tomorrow reason why my hair is in four sections is because i just washed it and detangled it and now it's ready for um my mom to braid it so i don't have to worry about that i can focus on my work for the next two weeks month maybe i'm just getting my stuff together right now i'm cleaning up like you y'all know how y'all have that one bag with you that you like take out if you're going somewhere really quick like maybe have some wipes in there or some um some lady napkins just in case some hand sanitizer pain pills you know just like a little quick bag i basically take the same things with me to school so i'm transferring it from my little fun backpack to my backpack backpack oh yeah one thing i wanted to talk about y'all this year my school has made a rule there's gonna be no phones like this, I, I went to a, 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 a back to school carnival at my school of course and it was just signs everywhere on the wall saying no phones allowed put it up blah 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 and then my associate told me they're gonna take your phone from you and then i was like they ain't taking nothing from me because i'm not gonna have it to give to them you you're not gonna catch me with a phone now that i know about this rule I'm going to have my phone. It's just not going to be visible or on me. It's going to be it's going to be up. It's it's not going to be out for you to take or for you to even see. As far as you know, I don't even have a phone. What what is an iPhone? <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know right now. It's, I don't have a phone. <laughs> but uh yeah, y'all. So, I think that's good though because a lot of my classes last year, y'all, everybody was on their phone. Nobody was even engaging in the class. Like it was it was really bad. Like that's one of the main reasons why I didn't like being in that school or that atmosphere. It's, like, it's not a lot of people that want to participate in anything or are interested or in anything. Like it's all in their phones and it's it is just it just it takes away from like being at school, you know learning being engaged in the activities right no y'all i'm different i enjoy learning i enjoy having discussions with people i mean it does get boring at times and that's okay because then like we take breaks like we take breaks to talk we take breaks to play games it, it comes to a point where you have to realize okay that was the break time that was the time we was taking off to like regroup and get out of this boredom for a while it's time to come back now right it's a school full of, full of children, so they're not really going to have that self-control. Um, so, hence them making this rule. I know it is going to be some people that act out. They're going to be like, my mama said this, this, and that, so y'all can't do this and this and this. Y'all always know it's that one kid like that's always just like, 
or them, them type of kids where it's like, my mama said this, this, and this, so this is what's gonna happen, and y'all not gonna do this, this, and this. Y'all know how that be. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a couple of them. It's gonna be some people who don't care, because it, it is some people who genuinely don't care. So hopefully, everything goes well, you know. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being over with this school. I'm looking forward to leaving California because it's, I'm just gonna let y'all know right now. It's probably what I'm gonna do. I mean, a lot of the schools on my list are here, but there are some that are out of state and I don't mind leaving every one and everything that I know because I, I don't care. Like, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to explore. I'm ready to be independent. Um, it's not that I dislike anyone. It's not that I don't appreciate anything anybody has done for me. I'm just ready. <laughs> I'm just I'm just ready um yeah I'm packing up my stuff right now so far I have one notebook in here I'm really gonna wait cuz I feel like they didn't even give us a back-to-school list or anything so I'm I guess we could just wait until we get there and then find out what we need but until then I'm just gonna take a notebook folder my ruler I don't know where my ruler is I think it's in the folder. Well, I'm gonna take a notebook, a folder, a ruler, some lead pencils. Yeah, all my pencils and stuff is already in here. Some pain pills, some hand sanitizer. Now, what I usually, I carry some extra equipment with me in my uh, quick bag, but I can't really take that to school. Y'all know, knives, tasers, pepper spray, all that type of stuff. I don't really need it at school. I mean, these days, it wouldn't hurt, hurt to have that with you, but. It's no need for me to get caught with that on me. It's like really no need. Um, some wipes, some lady stuff. Y'all always gotta have wipes with me. Like, I just, I just don't feel like I'm being as clean or sanitary when I don't have my wipes with me. Like, I need my wipes. I'm sorry. It's like it's necessary. <laughs> you know, I'm debating bringing this big old bottle. Um, it don't even tell me how many ounces this is. I'm, I'm debating if I should bring this. Or my clear Contigo water bottle. I think I'm gonna do this. I need to represent my internship. I need to like be like, oh, where'd you get that water bottle? I'm just kidding. No, I think I'm gonna clean this and fill it up. I'm not even the type to carry like reusable water bottles. Like I usually have my two big old uh, water bottles I take with me like this. I usually throw two of these in my backpack and then I'm on my way. But okay so yeah y'all i'm going to finish packing up i'll update you guys later maybe my hair will be done maybe i'll be cooking maybe i'll be taking a break who knows but i'll talk to y'all later yeah so right now it's 5 49 i am sleepy my hair is still not done unfortunately i just got done taking all the nail the nailish i was gonna say the nailish the nail polish off my so I'm gonna repaint them for school tomorrow because they were looking kind of suspicious. Y'all know one thing I don't like about when I redo my nails is that they get stained because of like all the different colors and stuff I put on them. They turn like, y'all see that tingy yellow? Like they're all that tinge. I mean, I gotta keep colors on there because y'all when I just put clear on my nails, it's like it's not as strong as if I put an actual color on, right? I'm tired y'all. Like I wanna, I wanna eat. I'm a, I cooked this morning. I put on um, ground turkey, bell peppers, onion, black beads, chicken stock, um, fire roasted tomatoes, some lori, some adobo seasoning, and I put it in a pot to cook as like my meals for the week at school so I don't have to make boring sandwiches like I could actually eat a pot of real food. I've been letting that cook. My mom been cooking all day too. It's, I just, I'm tired. I know she tired so I don't even know what's gonna happen with my hair to be honest we might have to just throw a bun up there under a wrap because you know this year i'm gonna actually try to vlog and i'm not really gonna talk about it because when i talk about stuff too much i end, i end up getting i end up thinking about what i'm gonna do too much and then just end up not doing it so that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna try to vlog for y'all for me well uh, it's uh 7 2 p.m hair is still not done my mom's been cooking all day, so I just went and told her. When I took my badge photos for my internship, I just had a hair wrap on with a fake bun at the top with my hair scooped into it. So we just finna do that. Cause it's like 3702. If she did start braiding, I wouldn't be we wouldn't be done until it's probably time for me to wake up and go to school. So Ain't no shame in just throwing a bun up there and a hair wrap. It's really easy. 
it looks cute i mean i'm not gonna be jumping around in a jumper so i should be fine but yeah y'all this dinner finna slap though my mom made mac and cheese and y'all her mac and cheese is so good like it's so good it took me years to find out the ingredients like she's she she is like she be keeping that information tucked i finally got it i don't know how i got it a couple years ago i think but yeah she made mac and cheese oxtails and some onions and bell peppers and some type of vegetables y'all i am ready i haven't had my mom's mac and cheese in a hot minute i haven't had her oxtails in a hot minute it's just oh my god <laughs> Hey y'all, it's now 11.22 p.m. Um, so my mom was cooking so long. I already told y'all what happened, right? Yeah, so she just threw a bun up there. Tomorrow I'm just gonna put a head wrap on this part and just have my bun out. And I wanted to go to sleep earlier, like 8.30, but it was a lot going on. But I'm gonna make sure to set my timer for 5.30. Y'all, the only reason I gotta wake up at 5.30 is because I live kind of far from my school. Like, my school is like, I'm just gonna say it's near the downtown Los Angeles area, so. I actually don't live that far from there, but traffic is so horrible in LA, so, you know, you gotta, you gotta, like, leave an hour before, so. Wake up at 5.30, leave at 7, or around 7. Hopefully I could fall asleep. I just put some, uh, I washed my face with some, uh, that brand. Shiseido, 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 Shiseido. No, it's this super expensive, like, Asian skincare brand. The reason why I look like a glazed donut is because I put on La Roche Posay moisturizer, but I mixed in some vitamin E oil. Because after I washed my hair earlier, my face was really dry from, like, you know the constant the water constantly running down your face so i just threw some of that on to replenish the moisture yeah i see y'all tomorrow maybe if i feel like filming i might whip my camera out show y'all my ootd maybe film some at school i don't know it's the first day i might not want to be doing all that i'm excited though well i'm not excited but it's i'm looking forward to it like I'm, I'm looking forward to having some of my old teachers back. That would be cool seeing them again or having their class again. I really miss some of those teachers. Some of the other ones, no shade. We just wasn't clicking like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, y'all, I better get off. Try to fall asleep. I gotta get up at 5:30. You know what I should pack? I should pack a little coffee shot just in case I get tired. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a like and if you want to see more videos like this if you want to become a part of the family make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.